What's happening, y'all? Yeah, what's up? What's up? Good morning, good morning, good morning. I thought I uh, joined y'all this morning. Just did my walk on the Malacom, which is right behind me. Now me and my boy Daryl are uh, getting ready to have breakfast. You can see that? See that? Yeah, I'm gonna keep sporting that shirt. Life, laptop lifestyle, baby. So um, anyway, man, I just wanted to share a vlog with y'all this morning, man, to um, and keep encouraging people to um, come out. And it don't necessarily have to be here. It could be anywhere, you know, wherever, wherever your paradise is, come and, come and enjoy your paradise, man. I got my laptop set up up there. I just ordered breakfast. I just did a three mile walk. Uh, my boy, Daryl, he got my ass up and walking every morning. What's up, what's up, Miguel? What's up, Delon? He says, I'm here, all right, all right. Well, when when you in Porta Plata, man? I mean, I might be in Sassua tomorrow, but uh, I'll let you know. What's going on, what's going on? Yeah, man, I mean, come out, man, enjoy some of this shit, man. Look at this motherfucker. And I got, I got all this beautiful view in the morning, and I'm working right there, matter of fact, let me see if I can zoom in on my boy Daryl. That's his ass sitting up there. He getting ready to go back to America. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm trying to walk backwards. Uh, this my this my walking partner in the morning, man. So you know, and I gotta admit, man, this this guy's my uh, he's my inspiration in the morning, man, because he gets my ass up and going. What's up, Daryl? What's up? Getting it in. <laughs> getting it in. That's my boy getting it in, getting it in, man. So uh, we walk on the Malacone, man. We try to do it at least four or five days a week. Uh, and man, just enjoy. And then come sit out here and I go to work. It's, this is my office right here, baby. This is my office. This is the office. This is the office. This is the office, baby. This is the office. I'm telling you, man, get that money online. There's a lot of money online. There's a lot of people making money online through uh, one cat, like I said, Andre from Crossing Borders, flipping websites. You got people doing drop shipping stores, people selling t-shirts, whatever. All online, man, making that money. What's up, Jackson? Yeah, man, I like this office too, brother. It's the best office in the world. You can't have a better office than this. Look at this motherfucker. And if I want to change views, that's fine. Okay, so you may get you may get bored of looking at this shit all day, right? So if I want to change views, I'll go to my second office over here. There's another another cassette restaurant right behind me. You know? So if you want to change views because you get bored with your first office, all this, then hit your second office over here. But I'm just trying to tell people, man, you can enjoy life. You can live life abundantly. Um, just like I said, man, get off that career path that, that keeps you at a desk, that keeps you at a cubicle, driving you crazy, working with motherfuckers that you don't like, that don't like you. Like I said, man, on that hamster wheel, on that roller coaster, man, get off of it. Get off of it. Order this T-shirt right here. And then get to work. Like even when I was in America, man, um, you know, my, my body was in America, but my, my mind was somewhere else. So that's why I just tell people, man, listen, I, I work I work here, I don't live here. Let me see what y'all got to say. I'm 35, living DC between 20 and 25. I'll be transiting. That's what I'm talking about. No desk and no drop. No desk, man. Well, my desk is, you know, is is basically uh, a table that I eat my breakfast on. <laughs> Cause we just ordered breakfast, man. So I pull out the laptop. I'm over here maybe about four hours a day. I just went up to my crib, let my maid in, let her clean up the crib. That when I come back, it's smelling all good, looking all good. I don't put my day in. Let's see what these comments. Soon, brother. Soon. What's up, Vic? What's up, Gil? Yeah, man. So anyway, man. I just want to encourage y'all, come on out, get some of that laptop lifestyle, get some of that online money, because there's plenty of money online and a lot of people doing a lot of different things online to get it, man. Come on, let this be your office, baby. Let this be your office. 
That's some great encouragement. Hey, man, this this the office. This the office right here. You know, like I said, I just got through walking on the Malacom. I put in um, three miles this morning. Try to get, get rid of this belly fat. Because I done gained some weight being over here. So I said, now it's time to move. Flip flop. Good to see you, brother. Yeah, Flip Flop is doing much better. I, he should be at the hospital if he's not already out. I talked to him about two days ago. He was still in. So hopefully he'll be out very, very, very soon. Yeah, hey, man. But let this be encouragement to you, man. Matter of fact, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to turn around. But way in the back, man, you can see the mountain views right here. So you got those mountain views right, right in the background, man. So like I said, if you want to change views, all you got to do is turn around, change direction. You get a new view. Costa Rica, okay. Good for you, Russ. Get that exercise. Yeah, man, I ain't got no choice, man. So I got my boy Daryl, man, that encouraged me. That motherfucker be calling me seven o'clock in the morning. He leaves his house. By the time he gets to the Malacone, I'm out here waiting for him. So um, we walk that three miles, man. We walk all the way down, walk all the way back. Then we come out here, sit here, have breakfast, talk about our day, talk about what's going on. I, I go get my laptop, pull out my laptop, come back here, do a little work, or pull out the phone. What's up, brother? Good morning, you too. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You know, a lot of times you see families out here early in the morning, man. Early in the morning. What are you doing with your with your hour work week? My hour work. <laughs> I ain't quite understand my hour work week man no i work i work more i'm gonna tell you i'm working now more more than ever because you know i'm trying to get up there i'm trying to get that um dr legal help you know we, we, we transit transitioning to getting that open so i'm getting ready to open up a call center so i'm getting ready to hire some people um uh, about four people to work the call center that when people call in um they could take those calls make sure guys getting service guys or girls whoever is getting the proper service so I'm, I'm right now i'm writing the training manual I, and i used to write training manuals for the government so i know so i know how to write a training manual so I'm right now i'm writing a training manual i'm uh, writing the sop because we've got to have a sop i'll send it off to maria she's going to translate it into spanish because this is a, a, a spanish-speaking country in business you have to have everything in spanish as well so Everything we do has to be English and Spanish, or rather Spanish and English, uh, for to make sure that it's, it's legal. So if you do a business over here, <laughs> I almost slipped. If you do business over here, where you register a business over here, it has to, everything has to be in Spanish as well as in English. I'm trapped in Sasua. What's up? No, no, no. Hey, Stanley, I was gonna call you today because you know they getting ready to push that uh, time back. So they're getting ready to push the time back because I told you we'll get together this weekend, you come out, hang out at the crib. But since they're getting ready to push the time back and you're not going nowhere, uh, I say let's do something next week. That way we, that way we have a longer hour, we can start the party a little bit later as opposed to starting it early. So, nah, but I was gonna call you later and talk to you about that. But I got you, brother, I got you, man. I've never lied to you, I've never lied to you. You know that, so we're just gonna push it back. That way we can enjoy those late hours, man. They're pushing the curfew back to 9 o'clock during the week and um, pushing it back two hours on Saturday, Sunday to 7. YT, what's up, brother? What's up? Now, YT, good brother, great channel. Yusef YT, um, expert, S SME, subject matter expert in finances. Check his channel out. Um, he's been on the show quite a few times. Really great content. Love his stuff, love the brother. Uh, he has some very interesting things about Brazil. So if you're interested in Brazil, you gotta go to his channel and check out some of his, um, check out some of his vlogs. He, he's everything, he's everything Brazil. Matter of fact, um, you know, cause Charles Tyler used to be my resource for Brazil, uh, rest in power. But now Yusef Watif is my, is my resource for everything Brazil. All right, and I'm gonna join you in Sao Paulo, man, one day. I'm gonna join you in Sao Paulo. Let me see what's going on. If you need any marketing consulting, uh, yeah, if I, I probably will. So shoot me uh, your information on um, on my IG. I'm actually getting ready to hire 
a social media manager. Well, I'm not just social media manager. I'm, gonna, I'm getting ready to hire a personal assistant here. Cause I need somebody that's here. But I'm uh, but one of those qualifications, they're gonna have to know social media because I, I need somebody to handle the social media aspect of it too. Too many, too many zombies chasing me. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, you in Sasua, man. See, in, in, in Porta Plata, they chase you, but they chase you from afar. It's a different vibe. It's a different atmosphere. And I'm um, good thing. See, the thing about it, a lot of people say, oh, Russell, don't, don't start encouraging motherfuckers to come to Porta Plata. See, knuckleheads ain't going to come to Porta Plata because it's too slow for them. They don't know how to move. They don't know how to move. But grown-ass men know how to move down here in this atmosphere and uh, have the best time that they ever had. I know I'm having it. You know, I know I'm having it. Like I said, if any one of y'all been to my party, shit, you already know what the deal is. But we might kick one off next week for my boy Stallion. I want to make sure he has a really good time. He's also renting my place out in Sasua right now. All right, so let me see what this says. I reach out to Mar Maria about... I didn't, I didn't catch that. Last person said they reached out to Maria about something. Do me a favor, man. Send me a message on my IG. And put that message in there again about you reached out to Maria about whatever. Leave your phone number and um, and I'll go ahead and take care of that. Matter of fact, hold on, I gotta get my girl to get my drink. Cause I have a fruit drink every morning. Mi amor, mi amor, vente aquí me viva, por favor. All right, I don't wanna go on the restaurant. They they got that music playing, so they might copyright my shit. I ain't trying to get copyright. On the right here. All right, baby. Gracias, ma'am. Okay. Gracias. Ah, right, don't that look good? Now, you know that shit look good, don't you? You know that shit look good. So me and my boy order our water in the morning. And then we always order this. This is all fruit. It's different fruits like strawberry, uh, mango, pineapple. I think there's a little guava in there. And then sometimes I throw a couple of shots of um, Grey Goose up in that motherfucker. What's up? That's a nice spot. Yeah, man. So if you come to, to um, Porta Plata, the spot that I like to hang out not gringo prices they ain't gonna gouge you um it's a spot called cosita rica cosita rica cosita rica it's right next to a real popular restaurant called la, la chuela i like la chuela too but sometimes they on and off man their food is not consistent and i like good consistent food and Cos cosita rica the food is consistent they're not overpriced you got this gorgeous view so that's where I like to go. All right, so my food just came, man. Anyway, I gotta go right now, I gotta eat. So I can get to work, man, you know, and relieve all this stress. <laughs> anyway. Oh, man. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, man, look at that breakfast. Look at that breakfast. Thank you, brother. Uh -huh. All right, man. I got to go. I got to eat and I got to get back to work. But I just want to give y'all some encouragement today, man. So come on out here. Get your exercise on. Get your good breakfast. And then get to work in your beautiful office right here. Peace and love, family. Laptop lifestyle. Get the t-shirt.